All right, so here is our rocket for the MapSat 2. We'll investigate it in just a little bit. I need to get this just in a polar orbit. We're going to go for a 100 kilometer orbit. I have a little, I do have KOS installed and it's giving me instructions on what to do, which is to run my orbit program with the parameters 185, which is a heading. So it's going to go off at, an, at a 185 degree heading that's a little west of south and it's going to cut throttle when the apoapsis gets to a hundred thousand meters so that's what that means so off it goes and hopefully everything is ready and able to go yep I always like this was a week ago of course that I built this thing and then <laughs> I'm like I think it's okay I believe I have to stage manually. That's the one thing. And the reason why we're heading towards the south here, you see it tilting towards that way, is um, because uh, we're going to go for a polar orbit. I can get words out. It's very likely battery issues, no mercy. That's the first thought that came to me. Um, our battery issues, I, I have no means of maintaining attitude control I don't have RCS unlocked yet I don't have reaction wheels unlocked yet so once the probe is in orbit it's just gonna tumble and although I do have solar panels on it just give me a sec there we go uh, I'll do I I'll, although I do have solar panels on it it uh, it uh, may they may not be oriented very well that's very very likely but I am gonna go investigate and see what's going on map sat one no oh, no map sat one's not that's not my one map sat two is my satellite in question okay and again this is gonna go until an altitude of hopefully it all holds together <laughs> that looks better there So we're heading to an apoapsis of 100, I believe. And it's not the most sophisticated launch program in the world. I'll try and see if I can keep working on it and make it a little bit more better. For instance, right now it really should be kind of reducing this throttle a little bit, but it's not. Okay, and again, you can see, that's not bad. Like, we can see where that uh, orbital prograde vector is. It's pretty close to being right on the south line, which does tell me I'm very close to being in a polar orbit. Take a look here. There is my MAPSAT-1. We'll investigate you in a little bit. Here comes my, my other guy. Here's where you can see this is Earth. Like, there's South America. But anyway. Uh, I'll let this get a little higher. We'll pop the fairing. Wait till we're pretty much out, out of the atmosphere for that. Okay, let's do it. So five. There we go. That worked. I should also have an antenna on here somewhere. There it goes. And this is the actual scanner on the top. And you can see here it's got, I'm pretty, because I was at the time had part count issues. I only put on two solar panels. I wish now I put on more, but I didn't. So that's that. I do have SAS, which is awesome. So that should really... Oh, and I, but I have no attitude control other than thrust vectoring. So I can't steer until I'm actually uh, got some throttle on this. So I'm just going to wait until we're closer to apoapsis. Still a lot of DV left. Holy cannoli. And, oh, did I turn... I don't even know if I turned down the ejection force on this. I can't remember. I can't remember where I ended this at. So, anyway, I'm going to give it a little bit of throttle. So I can steer. And now I'm going to give it a lot more throttle. But, oh my... I, this thing is way overbuilt. Why did I build this so crazy? Like, I might be able to do all of this just on this stage. Forget the probe entirely. 
That is kind of wild. Here, more throttle. Okay, I'm just gonna stage. And then we'll throttle up on those engines. I only did that because I wanted that thing to de to deorbit, right? I'm gonna let, get a little bit closer to Apple Apps. But we are tumbling, unfortunately. Sort of steer it back. I don't want my Apple Apps just to get too big. It was getting ahead of me. So yeah, I staged that even though it still had quite a bit of fuel in it, only because I wanted it to deorbit. We'll let this get a little closer to Apple Apsis. Again, a little staging that way. <laughs> Just trying to keep it around the prograde vector. Now I time warp. Did it freeze? It shouldn't. I thought I had persistent rotation installed. Oopsie doodle. Yeah, time warping freezes the rotation. Okay, there's something... Something's changed. Because that didn't happen last week. And previously. I don't know. Okay. What is my... I've got four hours of electricity right now. Okay, get a little bit lower. It's nice now I don't have to worry about losing connections that was always my issue before because i was fighting with that other mod but now i should be picking up ground stations and not have to worry about that stuff okay let's uh okay just pushing up that periapsis so that this thing's kind of close to being a circle Roll it a little bit. That's close enough. Okay, so let's get into here. We'll turn on our multi-spectral analyzer, which is that guy. I don't think there's any animation with it. But I can see if I can get a little bit of solar. Whoops. Just trying to get it. Unfortunately, again, I have to give it some thrust in order to just trying to get a little bit better here just let it tumble and hopefully it's you know the solar panels will expose every once in a while and but i think i think the other ones are so there that's all this is so again this thing is going to start scanning this is done but i'm worried it's going to run into the same fate as the other one uh, I should now be able to have a biome map. So you can see it's starting to scan the biome. It's telling me I'm right now over the ocean, which I uh, kind of knew that. But I don't know. We'll see how it does. Let's go over to MapSat 1. One thing that uh, Kerbalism does for you is it, it allows you to monitor different probes from here, which is really nice. But you can, if you click here, actually go to the vessel rather than going into map view and searching for it and all that kind of stuff, which is nice. Yeah, it's not just SAS. I have SAS now, uh, Salam, but I don't have reaction wheels and I don't have RCS. Those are the things I'm kind of missing. So this is my probe. Um... Can I start this? Okay, this is enabled now. So this this the uh, scan sat was was out. Now what I can do, there's four minutes of electricity. Let's um let's get into the automations here. So if I go to the scan sat, if power is low, so EC levels are below 20%, I want you to turn off the scan sat and if power levels are high above that I want you to turn it on so this is some automation that you can add into that that wasn't there before and so now uh, this should be off if I'm not mistaken go back here to devices whoops 
Oh, it is enabled. Okay, let's turn it off. But... Where's my electricity? Oh, the electricity's okay. Okay, okay. So let's... Uh, sorry, my mistake. But now what should be happening is... And somebody suggested this last stream, and by the time I realized it, it was out of juice. So, um... This should now, when the power gets too low, so when the uh, electric charge gets below 20%, it should turn off the ScanSat scanner. And then when it gets back up above 80%, it should turn it back on. And I can, this is what's great, I can set up MapSat 2 with the exact same setup and do it right from here. So when the power is low, we're going to turn off the ScanSat scanner. And when the power is back Hi, we're going to turn on the ScanSat scanner, and right now I just want to make sure it is indeed on. It is. So I can see here it's doing some scanning. It's done to 1%, and where's my other contract? Low altitude. I'm hoping this one is scanning once again. Where's my scanner scanner? Da-da-da-da-da. Oh, down here. Where's the map? Because I'd love to have me a biome map. So there's the beginnings of my biome map. But if I go to the altimetry map. Uh, there's the probe. I'm hoping it's scanning again. Let's see if it's coming back down. See now it's scanning right maybe. I don't know. It doesn't look like it's scanning. Oh, it's disabled. Did the electric charge get too low? It did. I think this thing's going to be turning itself on and off all the time. I think I'm just going to leave it. And hopefully we'll see these percentages slowly go up. It is what it is. Okay. Uh, actually, time warping this one, it tumbles. Isn't that interesting? Maybe it's because I had the S. I don't know. Very weird. Okay. Let's get back to Space Center. 